In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is a perfection of prudence, and whoever, and, and whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care, because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my, pine, my flesh pines, my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of the banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. I will remember you upon my couch, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that 
Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for, for yourselves. While they, while they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. There are various moments in life um, and various periods, even phases, one might say, in which um, things can uh, seem like they're in such disarray. And we can, uh, of course, we all, we're always pleading for God's intercession, his, his intervention uh, to help us and to deliver us from the trials of the day. Um, and I think that uh, this is, um, sort of at the core of what our Lord is teaching us. It's also, I think, at the heart of um, what we have from the uh, Book of Wisdom in the Old Testament, and what in Saint Paul in his his uh, writing to the uh, this first letter to the Thessalonians. Um, all of it is is giving the exhortation for vigilance and perseverance in prayer, um, and to not give up not to become discouraged, to trust in God, to understand that even though when the, we see things going on around us that are very distressing um, and seem to be going the wrong direction, um, God has a plan. And um, God knows how he's going to bring about uh, the transformations that he has in store, the means of salvation of souls for those who are sincere and truly seek to love him and keep his commandments, follow his teachings. Um, it is a time, I think, when um, we uh, should focus on being the Anuim. Um, the Anuim is uh, the faithful remnant, not necessarily a majority of people, but it is people who are uh, sincere 
and who have zeal for the Lord and his purposes, who despite however the rest of the world may go, who persevere in uh, being available and faithful to God, and who um, stand ready to be at the service of helping others to do the same. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, eternal before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We offer these prayers from deep within our hearts, asking God to be present to all those in need. The church leaders throughout the world continue to call all people to holiness, we pray to the Lord. The God's people who proclaim that death has been conquered in Christ may be active in defending his gift of life, we pray to the Lord. That those who work for peace and struggle for justice will bring the message of salvation to our world, we pray to the Lord that we may work to save orphaned children throughout the world, and especially those who are abused or neglected, we pray to the Lord. For the souls in purgatory, especially our family and friends, that they rise with Jesus Christ to new life, we pray to the Lord. Generous God, hear the prayers of your people and comfort us in our need. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, today we have an additional collection um, in addition to our normal operatory, which goes to support a parish operating budget. Um, the second uh, collection is the retirement uh, fund, for, the fund for retired priests. Uh, please drop your donation in the baskets in the back of the church, or you can contribute uh, through online giving through our website. Thank you.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all, all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, we vain it in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become 
one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, his assisting Bishop George, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Er hipsum et cum ipso, er nini hipso, est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitati Spiritus Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere no hobis anius dei quit holis peccat amundi don han no pis pace Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blast to those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
practicing Catholics in good standing who would like to present themselves for Holy Communion are asked to approach the communion rail by way of the center aisle only. Uh, kneel down at the communion rail and then completely remove your mask off of your uh, ears and your neck so as to avoid any chance of profaning the Blessed Sacrament. After having received Holy Communion, before getting up from your place at the communion rail, please put your mask back on and then return to your pew by way of the side aisles only. Thank you.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O oh Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. We invite you to Sunday Solemn Extraordinary Form Chanted Vespers tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. here in the church. Please invite family and friends. Um, beginning Monday, uh, November 9th, the, this chapel here, which used to be the sacristy on this side of the church, will be open uh, for people to come and pray and adore our Lord who is here in the tabernacle. Uh, the visitation chapel will be open uh, when the parish office is open. I'm asking that those who want to come in and pray stop in the parish office and register, uh, bringing photo ID, um, and that way we can uh, better provide for everyone's security. Uh, the Holy League Holy Hour for Men is Wednesday, November 11th at 5.30 a.m. There will be an hour of Eucharistic adoration and confession followed by Mass at 6.30 a.m., Ladies are asked to wait until 6.15 before entering the church. Throughout November, we are collecting canned and dried goods, grocery store gift cards, and men's toiletries to benefit Magnificat houses and loaves and fishes soup kitchen. Collection boxes are located in the narthex, and please place grocery store gift cards in the offertory basket in the back of the church. We are still in need of additional volunteers to serve as ushers that are distinct from the safety and security team who are helping us at all of our masses. Our current volunteers have been stretched very thin and they're just not able to fulfill both roles. And so I'm asking for commitments uh, at this mass, at each one of our masses, but at, uh, at, at this mass as well. Uh, please contact the parish office to sign up. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, Thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince, Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the heavenly hosts, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine King and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Father, I abandon myself in your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. In your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart, for I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself. To surrender myself in your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence, for you are my Father. The prayer in time of epidemic. Deal not with us, Lord, according to our sins, and take not vengeance on us be because of our misdeeds. Help us, O God, our Deliverer, and for thy name's sake, O Lord, free us. Remember not, O Lord, our sins of old. Hasten to us with thy compassion, for we are become exceeding poor. Saint Sebastian, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Vouchsafe to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God, and of ever Virgin, of thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Be moved to pity, O Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation, 
and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Uh, friends, I forgot to mention, please, um, uh, as many as possible, um, if you would go to the um, uh, table there next to the arch in the entry to uh, get supplies to sanitize the pew where you sat so as to um, help us to have the church ready for our next Mass. Thank you very much. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcetto, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, ex ules filii heve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, hilos tuos, Misericordes oculos, a nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O, 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 clegis, O, 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 Pia, O, 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 Dulcis, Virgo Maria. Thank you, Sidney. Why don't you make yourself?